Hello you 12 and welcome to this our second video here for another topic. We are looking at networks generally and specifically today we're looking at Eulerian trails and circuits. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if we can remember that a trail is a walk that repeats no edges. I don't follow the same edge twice in this walk. And an Eulerian circuit, right? as well as not repeating any edges, finishes at the same place it starts. Okay, So an Eulerian trail is a walk along my network, along the edges, that doesn't repeat any edge. And an Eulerian circuit is a walk along the edges without repeating any edges and finishing where I began. Now there are some rules uh, that, uh, that apply to Eulerian trails and circuits. Apart from those definitional things, that if a graph has a connected graph, a connected network, has all even vertices, it has no odd vertices, the degree of each of the vertices is an even number. Okay. If the degree of every vertex is even, then I will have an Eulerian circuit. Right? If and only if the degree of every vertex is even, is there an Eulerian circuit? Now, for an Eulerian trail, it's similar, right? It's similar to that rule, but there have to be, it's if and only if there are exactly two odd vertices. If there are exactly two odd vertices in a connected network, then there will be an Eulerian trail. Okay, an Eulerian trail being a walk along the edges that repeats none of the edges. So, those things in mind, let's look at example four here. Explain why this network does not have an Eulerian trail and then construct one extra edge so that it does. Okay, an Eulerian, a network will have an Eulerian trail if there are exactly two odd vertices. If we have a look at the degree of each of these vertices, Oh, back to my drawing. Okay, now this vertex here has a degree of two, right? One, two. Right? One, two. So that has a degree of two. That has a degree of two. Now this vertex here has a degree of one. So that's an odd one. This one here, in fact, uh, this one here has a degree of three. One, two, three. So that's odd as well. There's two odds. Now I want exactly two odd vertices to get an Eulerian trail. But we haven't finished yet. This vertex up here is odd. One, two, three. Okay, and as does this one here. So I have this network has four odd vertices. And therefore No Eulerian, named after Euler, Eulerian trail. Now, I want an extra edge to, so that I do have an Eulerian trail. What would have to happen here is I need to get rid of two of my odd vertices. The best way to do that is to draw an edge between two vertices of odd degree that will increase the degree of each of those vertices by one. So I think the easiest way, oops, the easiest way I think would be draw this edge here, okay, and now this vertex here has a degree of two, this vertex has a degree of four, two, four, two, three, three. Okay, so there is my Eulerian trail. We'll start here and finish here. Starts at one of the odds, finishes at the other odd. Or, well, that's right, no. It always starts at one of the odd vertices and ends at the other odd vertex. If I wanted to draw another edge so that um, so that I have an Eulerian circuit, right, then the best thing to do would be to go, right, to double up this edge here, right, to join those two vertices a second time. Um, you can't always do that in every graph, but if we did that here, if we allowed that to happen, then I would have an Eulerian circuit because I would have no vertices with an odd degree. 
Righto, that's quite enough for Eulerian trails and circuits. I need you to remember what a trail and a circuit is and what an Eulerian trail and a circuit means and what conditions have to be satisfied for a graph to have an Eulerian trail or an Eulerian circuit. Okay, enjoy. Any questions, you know what to do. Ask me in class. See you then.